Okay, here we go. I just switched the motors from the front left to the back right because the flip was flopping over <laughs> uh, to the left front side all the time. So uh, one of the guys on RC Group said to give it a shot and see if it's the motor or ESC. So I don't have an ESC to replace, so I just swapped the motor and we'll see... Uh, if that's the cause, if it if it's the ESC, it'll flop to the left again. If it's the motor, then it'll flop to the back right. Oh, so it's just gonna flop, huh? Yeah, it should just like flop out of the sky. I'll just take it over to the grass and take it to uh, some softer grass. And that don't work too good. Now I gotta stress it a little bit. Is it working? Hmm? Is that working correctly? Yeah, but I gotta stress it some. It just doesn't do it. I mean you gotta you gotta start working working the ESCs or the motor. It'll, one time it fell out of the sky just hovering. I don't like I adjusted that, the, G, the GPS pod positioning and it's not holding it. Is it in hold position now? Yeah. It's not quite too. Huh? Oh, no, I just, I adjusted, I adjusted the uh, GPS position. You have to do that in the software. Yeah. Some people just leave them all zeros and just fly it that way. And I, I adjusted it for the upper for five. And then I moved it, it's left, three, three centimeters. Let's see, when when I did this maneuver, that's when it would fall. I don't want to take it up too high. I just want it to flop, barely flop over. There it goes. And it went to the back right. Did you see that? Yeah, it came back to this green one here. It came back to the green one, so it must be the here. motor. Yeah. That's the motor that I switched from there to here. Oh, okay. Okay. Feel this motor. Feel this motor. This motor compared to that motor. Oh. A lot hotter, huh? How's oh, it? Yeah, oh yeah, day and night. It's day and night difference. Day and night. This so one, this one you can't even hold This on one to. you can barely this motor you can barely hold on to. It's, it's so it's hot. It's hot. It's, it's uncomfortable to hold on yeah, to. Yeah, you can't even hold on to it. Yeah. So this motor is hot as hell. This yeah. motor is uh, just lukewarm. 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 So lukewarm. it's a bad so bad motor. Yeah. So the bad motor, the motor's overheating. I mean it's if you you can't even hold your hand. No, I, I I held it when I first grabbed it. I picked it up. It could, yeah. Yeah. If you held so, it for five seconds yeah, or something, you'd be burned. One, two. Yeah. It, I I can only hold it for like three seconds, and it's it's burning your hand. So, obviously, we discovered it's not the ESC. It's the motor that is bad. The motor's overheating and just probably just seizing up, huh? Yeah. Because look at this, you could hold just, these. It overheats and then it just fails for a second. Yeah, it just overheats and fails. So, found out it's not the ESC, it's not the NASA, not the GPS, it's the motor. 
So, I have uh, motors on order, extra ESCs on order, so in case uh, any ESCs or motors fail in the future. I guess that's it. That's a good way to test it out. That'll be 